Hello, welcome to How to Survive in a Bad Economy with our host, Charlie Grant, speaker, trainer, and author. Hello, and welcome to another edition of How to Survive in a Bad Economy. I'm your host, Charlie Grant. Our co host for today's show will be Kevin Logan, Bowie State University, Matthew C. Horn, Coastal Carolina University, and Ulysses Cooper, Ferris State uh, University. Uh, we have an explosive show for you today. Uh, as you know, as usual, we're going to share with America strategies, techniques, and tips on how to survive, thrive, but keep that dream alive in these economic times. Our goal today is to none other than just to introduce you to some powerful female entrepreneurs. Yes, from that powerhouse group called Mocha Moms. So go get your mamas, go get the grandmamas, go get all of the young ladies who are looking to start a business because they are explosive and they're gonna share with you some powerful, powerful strategies today. So after this next selection, after this next powerful, powerful selection, the show will begin. Don't you go anywhere now. As I look into the crowd At the people walking around Searching for the path that seems the painless And full of stimulation They never stop to look and stare At the one way up here In the high road in the mountains and the glory that surrounds it It might take a bit more time But it's a place where the sun shines And if you take it, you will find That it's easier on your mind So I'ma take the high road Even when it's the long road I'ma take the high road No matter how far I go I'ma take the high road Even when it's the hard road I'ma take the high road Even when it's the lonely road As I embark upon my Sometimes I end up stumbling And even feel like running Back to the valley low Where it's easier to go And try to find a right On an artificial high But I just continue to climb Try to take my time And eventually I find That I've walked a thousand miles So I'ma take the high road Even when it's the long road I'ma take the high road No matter how far I go I'ma take the high road Even when it's the hard road I'ma take the high road Even when it's the lonely Welcome back, America, to How to Survive in a Bad Economy. Our co-host for today's show, once again, will be Matthew C. Horn, motivational speaker, trainer, and author. Also, we have Ulysses Cooper, motivational speaker, trainer, and real estate 
Tycoon. Also, Kevin Logan, motivational speaker, trainer, and youth advocate. We have a, a great show for you today. Uh, so, gentlemen, we're just going to get right down to it. Uh, we're going to be sharing with entrepreneurs today, uh, some special entrepreneurs, even America. If you have the mamas, the grandmamas, all the young ladies, we have a treat for you today because our two guests today, uh, they are women from a wonderful women's group called Mocha Moms, and they're going to share some explosive things. We have two dynamic, explosive guests for you today. And our first guest, oh, she's something. She's a reality star. Uh, she's been on uh, uh, some wonderful things. Uh, well, matter of fact, she's doing some wonderful things. Uh, she's been on a reality show, a star there. Uh, she does hair. She has several businesses, ladies and gentlemen. I present the sum, and I introduce the others. Sean Morgan. Show your love. Show your love. Uh, Sean. Uh, Sean. Let the world know some things about yourself, about your background. First, I'd like to say, uh, well, thank you all for having me this evening. I am uh, Sean Morgan, as you stated. I am an owner of two businesses, It's Yours, as what, which is a hair company. We sell hair to salons around the world and individuals. Also, I own a business, a wellness business. I'm an independent marketing executive, wow. my husband and I, with uh, Melaleuca, the wellness company, and a busy mom of two, multitasker. Uh -huh. And yes, I was recently on uh, Amazing Race, a reality wow. show on CBS. Wonderful, wonderful. Sean, tell us, how can your business model uh, from some of your businesses impact or improve or embrace these economic times? First, I'd say with uh, my wellness business, because it does provide, it's a network marketing company, okay. and uh, because it does provide residual income, there are many companies out here. Uh, this business has been around now for 25 years, and it focuses wow. on something that we all need, uh, healthier alternatives. We're all hearing about going green. This company has focused on that for the last 25 years. So we look for people who have an interest in healthier alternative uh, products that don't cost a lot. So from a customer standpoint, it's, it's for everyone. And from a business standpoint, it's allowed myself and other families work from home, which is, great. and have time great. freedom, which great. has been great Wonderful. as well. Wonderful. So Sean, tell us, what advice would you have for stay-at-home moms across America? Uh, advice, I'd say, uh, Matthew, the first thing I'm thinking is find something that you enjoy doing. Some people, they're, you know, and balance. Some people have moms, you know, the first focus, if you're staying at home, you've decided that your number one priority is your children or a child. So um, at the same time, how you can balance that schedule, and it's not always perfect. That's the one thing, you know, we never want anyone to think you're going to have the ideal day. That changes, even up to me coming for this <laughs> interview. It changes right. at right. every moment. So right. I'd say, and look for those things that you're passionate about. Um, whether it involves making money, volunteering, which I try to balance, my husband and I try to balance with both. But for moms who are at home, I'd say first look for something that you really are passionate about. Sean, you talk about Mocha Moms, we talk about change. What change has Mocha Moms had on you? Um, I'd say, well, I initially was involved in our Mocha Moms chapter in Chicago, and that was a, a new chapter. And for me, it was a great time. I actually was in that chapter with some of my business partners already and friends. Um, but it also gave me a great social outlet. And it still has. As we moved to Maryland, I graduated from University of Maryland. But uh, it was new coming back to this area after being away for over 8, 10 years. So coming back, it, it also still reinforced that social outlet. Since my day is very busy and it's gotten even busier as my mm. children have grown and you know, are in more activities, so it's been great. Okay, great. So, Sean, tell the audience, how can they keep in contact with you? Um, well, I'm available. Uh, we can be reached via SeanMorgan.com, which focuses mainly on the wellness business and reaching out to other moms who are looking to join our team or looking for whether it's a business or an opportunity, mm -hmm. and uh, also itsyours.net, which is our hair business, and that okay. are the those are the two ways that uh, I can be reached. If needed. Wow. Okay, great. 
you're doing a lot of things. You have been blessed with so much talent. Uh, a lot of gifts I see there. And that's wonderful. And I see that Mocha Moms has seemed to have been a very powerful part of, of this success that you're having here. It has. And I, what's interesting is, it, as I said, it's been a great social outlet. outlet. Um, I haven't been able to be as active this year because I am more involved in my church and other activities. But what I love is the women that I met from our Chicago chapter to the Maryland chapter, Northern Prince George's, and we get to see Mocha's. We get together. We had a conference recently just to be able to fellowship because we're all busy okay. in some way or another. And just to know that uh, even, you know, I'm texting another mom who is a okay. Mocha as well. Uh, just the other day, she's participating in a, a walk, raising money. So we know our lives are busy, but we're always there for each other. So it's just wonderful to have that network. And that's wonderful. great for, you know, mothers, but business owners, because we can sort of get trapped in our own bubble, right. you know, of, you know, the day to day. So it's just great to have that network, that outlet. Did you hear that, America? Moms, sisters, whomever, if you're looking for a wonderful opportunity, you're looking for a wonderful group, a lot of times we can't do it on our own. Every now and then you need a team to fulfill that dream. And Mocha Moms, to me, sounds like a wonderful team of entrepreneur young ladies doing some great things. Our second guest we'd like to introduce to America today, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, she's a mover and a shaker also. Uh, matter of fact, she's a fitness coach. She's a fitness guru doing some great things. She wants to get you and fit America. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen. We introduce the sum, but we present to others. None other than Christine Lewis. Show your love, show your love. Also, Christine, uh, two Mocha Moms uh, members are uh, doing great things. Uh, tell the world, Christine, uh, some things about your background and, 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 and some things to, that has, have given you the opportunity uh, to be a blessing to so many. Okay. Well, first of all, and primarily, I am a wife and a mother of two beautiful boys. Um, I'm blessed um, to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, and that's very important to me. Yes. And my other job is I own a fitness company. I'm a certified fitness coach. So we do full service uh, um, health and fitness, personal training, boot camps, weight management services, mm -hmm. and fitness coaching, which I do over the phone. So we deal with a wide range of clients from um, all ages, and the goal is to help them redefine possible. We help them bridge the gap from potential to their God-given capability. So yes. that's what we strive for, and that's what we're excited about. Wonderful, wonderful, Christine. How, Christine, can fitness uh, be an essential part of surviving in an economy like this? Well, fitness is important for several reasons. I mean, there are a lot of people out of work right now. Oh, there are a lot yes, of people yes. struggling yes. right so. now. Um, one thing that fitness does is helps relieve some of the stress. I mean, we all are going through a lot of stress, um, and fitness is your key to really eliminating that and keeping it down. And that's one thing that you can you can just do. You know, you can walk. You can. There are lots of things you can do um, without the resources. Secondly, if nothing else will motivate you, fitness it costs a lot to be ill. Okay, <laughs> so, so you really need to focus on the fact that the healthier you are, it saves you a lot of money in the long run, paying for medications, doctor's visits. I mean, you can't afford to be sick. So if nothing else, people should be incentivized by the money that they will save by being healthy and being able to be a better provider for their families. Wonderful. So Christine, in an economical climate like this, what are some challenges you have faced in growing your business? And what strategies have you used to overcome them? Well, as you know, um, personal training services and fitness services are often the first thing to go.